Convicted killer Steve West is set to be executed in the electric chair at 8 o'clock tonight. He had his last meal about an hour ago. It was a cheesesteak with French French fries. It's been more than 33 years since that crime that put him on death row. 10 News reporter Jim Matheny went through the archives to remember the victims, Wanda and Sheila Romines, and to remember why the state plans to kill Steve West. We've got a box right here, pretty heavy. Eddie Campbell carries a weight for a dear relative and friend, Jack Romines, who died in 2008. He was more like a brother. He would always tell me, he said, if anything happens to me, he said, you make sure that everything goes through. For Romines, everything was the execution of Steve West, one of the two men convicted of murdering Jack's wife and daughter, Wanda and Sheila Romines, in 1986 at their house in the Big Ridge community of Union County. But it was the most brutal thing. Before this house was a crime scene, it was home for Jack and Wanda Romines, a couple that married later in life. So the addition of a newborn daughter, Sheila, was special. They were very happy, and Sheila was the, oh Lord, was the pride and joy of his life. She liked to dance and she was a good basketball player. She played for Anderson County High School. On the morning of March 17, 1986, Jack Romines left for work a little after 5 in the morning. That's when 23-year-old Steve West and 17-year-old Ronnie Martin went to the door. West and Martin were co-workers at a nearby McDonald's who spent the night driving around and drinking before showing up at the Romines. Juan and Sheila opened the door because they knew him. It was just downhill from there. Sheila recognized Martin from school, a curly-headed boy who had asked her out, but she rejected him. For the next few hours, Sheila was raped. Both mother and daughter were tortured and stabbed to death. The mother and daughter were found in separate bedrooms. Mrs. Romines is said to have been bound at the hands. Both she and her daughter had been stabbed repeatedly. Wanda was mutilated, and, and so was Sheila. Within just one day, both Ronnie Martin and Steve West were in custody. Both admitted they were at the Romines' house. Both blamed the other for the killings. Both were charged with double murder. West was the first to go to trial. West had claimed it was Ronnie Martin who had done the actual killings, that West had been forced to have sex with Sheila Romines and then forced to watch as Martin stabbed to death both Sheila and her mother Wanda. West's story of being too afraid to stand up to Martin didn't fly with a jury, especially considering he spent three years in the Army. A little old 17 year old kid, a 23 year old man, has been in the army and had special training and all that. And a 17 year old kid come out here and make you do something like that? They ain't nobody could. Nobody. In March 1987, the jury convicted West and sentenced him to die in the electric chair. As for Ronnie Martin, he was 17 when the crime happened, so he was not eligible for the death penalty unless he was tried as an adult. Martin never gave them a chance. He pleaded guilty to double murder avoided a trial, and received two life sentences. For more than 32 years, Martin has been behind bars, while West waited for an execution, delayed by decades of legal challenges to capital punishment. Through it all, West claimed he was not a killer, an argument that remained unconvincing through countless appeals. And the Senate stood for the state to kill West. I promised Jack that I would do that to make sure that justice was done. Jack Romines did not live to see the sentence carried out, and Eddie Campbell has carried that weight in his stead, a weight he hopes can be lifted with final closure to a brutal crime. We've been 33 years waiting on this to happen. Juan and Sheila, they're not forgotten. That was Jim Matheny reporting. Eddie Campbell says the mission will not be over when Steve West is executed. They'll also have to work to make sure Ronnie Martin never gets out of prison. He's eligible for parole in the year 2030. Stephen West's execution is set for 8 tonight. You can read more about the murders on WBIR.com and in the app. And tonight you can watch the press conference after the execution on the WBIR Facebook page and the 10 News app. We'll be right back.